Man, my my voice is absolutely shot already. <laughs> I've only been going for two hours. That rock hawk voice, it just you know really does a number on your vocal cords. But you know what? That's that's perfectly fine, honestly. So we're in the major leagues now, and this is where like the whole this is where like the kind of puzzle mystery part of the chapter starts. Because the first part of the chapter is just doing like straight battles, you know, in a in a row. But this is where like start things start to get more mysterious, and you kind of have to like take detours for matches to do mystery solving shit and all that. But yeah. Um, how are my badges doing, by the way? I could put on another last stand if I wanted. <laughs> I mean, yes, I could do that. Um. Honestly, I don't really know what to put on. You know, I'll just put on another last stand. Fuck it. This is major league locker room. Everybody here dreams of reaching the top. You can almost feel the intensity of their ambition in the air. It's weird. Speaking of weirdness, there's always someone in the bathroom. Creepy. You know, it's kind of necessary to have access to a bathroom now and then. That's the Koopinator. He definitely looks tough. When you fight against him, it's a good idea to have a strategy from the get-go. Isn't- doesn't this guy have, like, a generic name, like, Tom or something? Destroy the foe before you. That's the only concern of a true warrior. That guy's Spiky Joe. He's a major leaguer, so we'll be seeing him in the ring. He's super proud of his hardest shell and the pointy spike on top of it. Whatever. Oops. Let's keep fighting until you're the champion. Just use computer and locker and enter a match. I'll be the champ someday, you bet. Uh huh, that's right. He's like the big legendary champion, Prince Mush. That's Hammer Jamma. He must be one of the strongest major leaguers. He's got a hammer just like you do. I think that hammer is really important to him. Hey, where'd you get that hammer? You buy my style. I'm the hammer guy. Oh, yeah, there's also an item back here. Or not. There, there we go. That's what I was thinking of, the ice storm. That's Shellshock. He seems to be totally on top of his game. For some reason, though, I think he's just a big softy. He ain't thinking too much. Pretty tough, baby. You, you really get at the power up to win in here. Oh, the automatic ranking system. Can I, can I do... What, what do I have for exhibition matches? Oh, I can actually fight the Wings of Night. Yo, they actually let you do that. Now, let's fucking do that. You can finally fight the Wings of Night legitimately without having to rank down a bunch. Finally, jeez. <laughs> Thumbs up! For our next battle, we got the Berserk Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Sleepy Stealth Scythe. Yep, a fight to the finish with Wings of Night. We are gonna lose our likes to you. Teach me, old master. Get yourselves ready to battle! Well, here's a rare battle you never get to see. The fucking super fights. And they actually have an item. Oh my god, they're actually called swoopers, instead of swoops. It has a swooper. I bet they call it that because of the way it swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work, seriously. It's pure naming genius! So anyway... It says here it hangs from the ceiling. If you can damage it, it ought to drop off the ceiling and then you can whack it. Alright, let's get rid of this guy with the fire flower here. Oh, okay. Uh, a bit, bit overkill, honestly, but all right. Super super guard. Fuck. Oh no, I'm really bad at this. Oh, <laughs> oh no, super super guard.
Uh, it doesn't really matter which one we get rid of. They get quite a bit of experience, too, you know? No, I, I cannot get that super guard for the life of me. Damn, my damage output is immaculate. So yeah, there's a there's a rare battle you never get to see. You got moon me. Definitely uh, need to need to sleep after that. All right, let's actually let's actually do the ranked matches. I like the inclusion of the exhibition match. That is a really cool feature. Well, boy, Hatter Gonzalez, thanks for a fight, eh? Okay, then your next opponent will be ranked nine in the Glitz Pit, the Tiny Spinies. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want to let yourself get dead at least five times, okay? It's just so dang boring when a match is too one side, you hear what I'm saying? Now get in there and kick some behind. Oh boy, my favorite. The get hit five times uh, condition. <laughs> the conditions get really fucking stupid later in the Glitz Pit. Especially the ones that just say, like, take 20 damage. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Thorny Demons. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Tiny Spinies. Ah, it's gonna be fun poking at you. Get yourselves ready to battle! Take damage. So that can that be with anybody? Can that be with my partner as well? That's a red spike top. It's the most well protected of the Buzzy Beetle species. Yeah, this guy's hard. It has a really high defense, and fire explosions don't hurt it at all. If we can just find a way to flip it over, its underside has defense of zero. And that spike? What a pain. There's gotta be a way to flip it over. Well, the easy answer would be to quake, but I have to take damage five times, so... Yeah. Haha, I got super guarded. Well, let's just consider this my super guard practice for the day, then. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, the Glitz Pit battle thing goes hard, dude. Oops. <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna super guard that guy to death. Hello! Yeah, uh, I think that's going to be the case here. Wink. Okay. Yeah, so it does count for your partner then. I didn't even do the guard. You know what? Fuck it. Lol. <laughs> he got hit with a stage hazard. Is 
You know, if I had Power Rush P, then this would be a different story. Your fight mood Nia, 15 bucks. Let's take a rest. One's posture in battle is forged by one's action in life. Remember this. I have a super hard chill and a super hard spike. Yeah, I may be small, but look out. You ought to know, man. This hammer was forged by my grandpappy. You really think a new model like that can stand up to a vintage heirloom like this? I think maybe I should use a power up too, as well, because I ain't going nowhere. Ranked match again. Well, poor Hagazal, let's fix it for a fight, eh? Okay then, your next opponent would be ranked A in the Glitz Pit, the Poker Faces. Now listen, in this battle, I want you to win before you take 20 HP of pain. Our fans don't want to see a battered hero win by the skin of his teeth, son. Now get in there and show me some git, pard. Okay, well, this one will be easy. <laughs> this one we won't have to worry about. <laughs> this one we just quake hammer and we win. Thumbs up! For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez! And the Ultimate Weapons! Yep, a fight to the finish with the Poker Faces! <laughs> You're gonna be cool, saw kid, and that ain't good. Get yourselves ready to battle! Women before taking 20 HP of damage. Alright, I got an answer for you. Boom. Easy. And those guys still give like. Eight star points? Wow. <laughs> Sixteen money. Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Well, Mario, that's another email, right? Don't just stand there, check it. Whoa! Go to the watering hole outside the glitch pit from X. It's in that X guy again. Great. The watering hole, huh? If you say so, X. Who is this mystery guy? You know, sometimes I see how well you're doing, and I just lose all will to fight. You, you can ditch yourself for each and every battle. For anything could happen beneath the lights. Such is the way of the warrior. See this spike on my back? Without it, I'd just be an ordinary buzzy beetle. My grandpa used to tell me all great hammer stories. World 7-1, those were his hopping grounds. I'm gonna become an, a champion to honor his memory. You know, the funny thing is, that could mean two different things. That could just be a straight SMB reference, or it could be like a World War II joke. <laughs> So you're telling me that you have no idea who got inside? What do we pay you for? <laughs> I'm awful sorry, Miss Jolene. I heard a noise, a noise in there, but I couldn't find nothing. Fine. Leave the rest of this to me. Go back to your post. Listen to me carefully. Do not ever tell anyone of this, or I'll have your job. Ooh, mysterious music. You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay at a place where you have no business being. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> well, make a save. I haven't saved in a hot minute. Meow. 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 
Well, hello there, you hardy hero key man of a man. You, your lovely dear. The gossips have it that you made some headway in the Major League. But I doubt you could beat Rock Hog, you poor thing. You're simply too stringy. The only man for me is the one wearing that shiny belt. Diddle Oh, welcome to the good spit! Ow, I bit my stupid tongue. No one must know. Well, well, Mr. Mustache. You've made it to the Major League, have you? I'd keep a whisker tweaked, love. Something stinks here, and it's not ripe cheese. Call it a thief's intuition. Better save the sorry, my sweet. On the list, pit. This guy over gets paid to say that, right? Lately, when our A's meet, my heart begins to race. Ah, uh, I saw you thinking about him. Yo, yo, Great Gonzalez. Two questions. How are you feeling today? And if you were a soda pop, what flavor would you be? Whoa, whoa, hey a minute. You're Gonzalez, ain't you? Let me take a shot. Yo, I'm, uh... I'm, uh... I'm slightly more popular now. Yay! Hey, Great Mustache. You're, like, almost the strongest Prince Mosh, huh? My, sure, my son sure does like to watch you do your thing in the ring, that's for sure. And your new partner is also quite good. What's his name? Playcoin Wii? I'm a big fan of his now. <laughs> hey, Great Gonzalez, right? I'm a huge fan, man. Go right in. It is so cursed seeing fucking play coin and Wii and sign in this game. Not intentional. It's just my custom keyboard that I definitely didn't steal. Wait, I rough and tumble battling Trevor Sisters 3. Oh my gosh, you're the great Gonzalez from the magazine. This is too cool. Oh gee, it's Gonzalez? I thought his name was Gorgonzola. I'm always pulling you out there, Gonzalez. Yeah! Most merciless fighter ever! Ah, oh, that lovely young Yoen. She is un biscuit particularmente. The un tough cookie, as you say. Oh, I cannot even sleep. The pink spots on her oversized head invade my very dreams. Oh, you're Mr. Gonzalez. Yes, that's the mustache I've been waiting for. Hmm? Actually, you're pretty late. Somebody left a package and a note by the door a bit ago. It said, look for a thick stash man named Gonzalez and give him this. And this is this. You got the super hammer! Sorry, I'm too excited. Hey, it's me again, Toadette. So nice to see you again, Mario. Congratulations on getting that super hammer. Now you can use a wicked cool new technique. Let's get to practicing it. It's a little hard, but I'm sure you'll get it. Hold down B and rotate left stick until your body twists up. Then release B to perform your super hammer technique. The keys to rotate a lot before releasing B. Woo! Oh, excellent, Mario. You're so awesome. Are you clear on the controls? Okay, great! You've mastered the super hammer! Damn! Where the fuck did that block come from? With the super hammer move, you can break even big blocks like this! Oh gee, I almost forgot! You can use your super hammer in battle! Plus, your hammer attack power is boosted now! Well, see you later, Mario! Good luck with your quest! So far as I can tell, that hammer's a new model, the Hammer Whack 2005. Real nice hammer all around, solid craftsmanship, good grip, high bonk ability. The commercials for this thing say that the hammer has shoes as a suzer. They aren't cheap either, so whoever gave this must be a huge fan. But why leave it in this juice shop? Isn't that odd? I mean, it's not that hard to hand a gift to a pro fighter. Oh! Mario, another email! <gasps> Smash the blockade in the locker room. The block in the locker room, huh? What's behind it, you think? <laughs> I could use a couple extra coins, so I'll just bet on Rockhawk again. Rockhawk will never lose unless Prince Mush suddenly appears. That ain't likely. I want to check the juice. Man, no juice for me. Hey, what's shaking, dude? Keep it clean out there, okay? Prince Mush always did. 
Wow, I heard the good word, guy. So you made it to the major league, huh? Shoot, if you can make it, maybe I'd try to hide my. I gotta try my hand in the ring. Try my hard. <laughs> He's a try hard. See the sunglasses my butt has on? They're prescription. He has cloudy vision. I don't know if you know. Besides the air sickness, I'm also afraid of heights. <laughs> I want that blimp, and I want that hot dog sign, and I want that battle poster. Life it isn't Gonzales. I enjoyed your fight earlier. Yes, you thrashed that lout. I don't think you're quite rock hog caliber, but you have potential. Keep at it. I can't say I approve of my little boy Bob witnessing these violent matches, but as long as he grows up and takes over the Gold Bobbington Corporation, I can't put complain. What do you think the blockade is? I think I remember something big and yellow in the corner of a locker room. My dude. Alright, so yeah. The puzzle aspect begins. <laughs> oh, because all this, isn't it? I got word that you somehow fell back down to the minor league again. Can't say I understand why. Anyway, go on in. You dropped down the minor league? Is that a thing that happens? Hmm. Oh, uh, Gazalis, isn't it? Oh, okay. Okay, that's the same. That's the elder of the Ariadna Donis twins. You can tell he's older by his red shoes. I don't think they took their loss too well, Mario. I'd be careful around them. Hey, it's Mr. Stinkwad. What are you doing here? That's the younger of the Iron Donis twins. He and his brother totally hate you. Is it a rule that the older brother wears red shoes and the younger brothers wear green? If you want to fight outside the ring, I'll give you a fight, you big jerk. Yes, Mr. Gonzalez, you're back in the minor league? That's Sir Swoop. He just got on board here. Hey, now he's the newbie. You definitely notice how quick the turnabout comes when new people come in. What's the matter? Boom! Did you leave something in here? Boom! Ah, is my stash here left the cleft door? Ah! Boom. Hmm, you know what? I actually got a question. <laughs> can you do, um... Can you do the funny glitch in this game? I don't know, honestly. Well, I don't know. Hard to say. I wonder if Yoshi can fly a little bit farther in this game. Mm. I don't know, I think they made the hitbox bigger. Dubious documents. A set of documents that go into detail about a lot of important stuff. You also got Super Hammer. Yeah, I just did. Well, Gonzalez, that's some kind of scientific paper on the Crystal Stars. He'll be investigating those things besides us. They even took pictures. That belt was fake, but the real star's gotta be here somewhere. Who'd leave something like this lying around? This just reeks of funny business. Hmm. You again? Mr. Gonzalez, what are you doing in here? This is the Miley locker room. Major athletes... Major League Athletes are forbidden. Even if they weren't, it's hardly appropriate to bash down our walls, hmm? I'll just be confiscating this, thank you very much. Okay! What's that chick's beef? It was totally hard working- it was totally hard work getting that info. Well, whatever, at least it sounds like the Crystal Stars is somewhere in here. Let's keep fighting until you become the champion. Oh yeah, there is funny dialogue if you check the monitor. It'll say like, please use the Major League uh, terminal or whatever. Do you guys say anything new? 
think so, yeah. You have to beat a battle for them to change their dialogue. Hey, by the way, Zach, I don't know if you're still here, but did you know that you can actually you can actually fight Sir Swoop now, like legitimately, really easily? Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Picks it for a fight, eh? Okay, then. Your next opponent will be Rank 7 in the Glitz Pit, the Shell Shockers. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to ramp it up in five turns or less. I got a date with the best gal and just a few, and I don't want to be late. Now get in there and bring this puppy home quick. up for our next battle we got the merciless execution of the great gonzalez and the turtles have hurdle yep a fight to the finish with the shell shockers so god great gonzalez didn't think i'm gonna take it easy on you baby Get yourselves ready to battle! Plant Gang audience. Winning five turns or fewer. Well, bad title the Shady Koopas. There's one title that I always forget to get in playthroughs, and it's the Shady Paratroopa. That one I always fucking forget about. Never forget to do that title. As a shady Koopa, it's yet another member of the Koopa family tree. The difference between them and other cookie co cookies Koopas, they can attack from their backs. That's not all. While on their backs, their attack gets boosted, and they use a terrifying technique. Wow, that's pretty tricky. No wonder they're called shady Koopas, huh? Oh fuck. That's not good. Oh, yikes. Gotcha, bitch. Those Shady Koopas are gonna be a annoying to get rid of. That's a Shady Paratroopa. It's a Shady Koopa with wings, obviously. Knock off its wings and it's a Shady Koopa. Unlike typical Koopas and Paratroopas, it attacks. its attack jumps when it flips up its back. It also says it has a move that hits you and your partner at once. Is that possible? Uh, I guess the best thing to do is just beat it quickly after we flip it. That could have been a close one, honestly. Yeah, more BP. I'm going all in on the BP, seriously. Gonzalez! Whoa, Nelly! I don't believe my eyes, folks! The Anadonis twins are in a rage! You made us look like suckers the other day, and now you're gonna pay for it! Ugh, little tired from your match great stink quad. Too bad, prepare for pain! Good thing I just got a level up! You know what? I got a big brain idea. Do I still have that power punch? Right. 
bitch. Oh, bro, it still does four. It still does the that fucking annoying thing. Bitch. Well, yeah, Merle. Twenty star points for that. Nice. Oh, we lost after all that. We've re. Hoo That's our great Gonzalez friends and neighbors. Kid don't even blink when the Adonis twins barge in and attack. Woo! Tough. He's too dang tough. Yeah, this kid's only bound to get bigger fu things, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya! Here's your fight, mini. I can definitely get the double e I can definitely get the W emblem soon. Oh! Is Alice another email? What now? <gasps> you sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong and you are dead meat. Man, that thing sounds peeved. I'm thinking this isn't our ex, buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? Is Alice, you come to a crossroads, baby. Stay sharp and you'll be fine. You prepare your body and mind for every battle, unless you prefer to lose. Don't judge a buzzy beetle by its shell, mister. Hey, mister. My father decided to quit Hammer Bros School and go to Business Bros School. How can he do that? He has the responsible thing to do, but sheesh. Business Bros? I can't wait to see Business Bro in another Mario game. Uh, that definitely feels a lot better. Okay, well, let's, um, I guess we can actually keep playing. Well, more had Gonzalez. The next opponent will be rank six in the glitz pit, the fuzz. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to stand pat, okay? Do not do any damage at all. The crowd loves your partner, so let them do the fight instead. Give the people what they want. Now get in there and share that spotlight. Ooh, this one's gonna be a bit rough then. Cause I gotta tattle the fuzzies. <laughs> Thumbs up. For our next battle, we got the merciless executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the bottomless vacuums. Yep, a fight to the finish with the fuzz. <laughs> we'll suck up your souls. <laughs> Get yourselves ready to battle. Only let, you, only let your partner attack. Well, this will be one, this will be a bit of a di longer one, I think. That's a green fuzzy. As you can see, it's a fuzzy and it's green. Duh. This is similar to a normal fuzzy, so it replenishes its own HP as it sucks out ours. Ew. That's just the grossest thing ever. If you don't find that idea gross, seriously, there's something wrong with you. The main difference between this and other fuzzies is that this one multiplies. You know, I bet it better think this thing would look great sitting next to a gold fuzzy. Do I have anything that could, like, buff Goombella? Hmm, not really. Well, we have Sweet Treat, I guess. Oh no, they're already splitting up. No, my FP, dude. 
Alright, Flower Fuzzy. That's a Flower Fuzzy. Wow, what a totally pretty fuzzy, don't you think? This thing attacks like boing, boing in and sucking out FP. How uncool! We need FP! Once it charges up zone FP, it uses magical attacks. Better be it before it does. Oh, I just got it. It's a flower fuzz because it sucks your FP. Flower points. Duh. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna switch out to Coops now. I'm gonna keep trying that uh, fucking super guard, bro. Ow. Stop! <laughs> Stop, bro, what the fuck? Would be a good time for a, uh, for a hot dog. Oh, no. I just realized how impossible this fight's gonna be. Dude, I think this fight condition might actually be impossible. Unless I freeze them, I guess. Yeah, that's the only way to win this one, I think. But our split up, I don't really care. That one, that one kind of sucked. <laughs> In fact, no, that one act, that one did suck. <laughs> Hey you, Gonzalez. Jolene bought you a piece of cake. For a fan, I guess. Champ seems pretty worried about you, baby. Hey, that looks pretty good. You could probably get a quick boost of energy from it. Eat the cake? Yeah! Alright, cake time. You fully recovered. Yeah, each day, and with a new opportunity to hone with many skills. This spike is my trademark, mister. Why do you think they call me Spiky Joe anyway? Your trademark must be that pretty burly mustache, huh? Spiky Joe and mustache. Together they fight crime. That'd be a killer TV show. The day my grandpappy finished this hammer. <laughs> I fought by his side. Well, boy, Hattie Gonzalez, the next opponent will be ranked five in the Glitz Pit, the Magic Koopa Masters. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using any items. Empty them pockets. Real men don't need no trinkets to hand out a whooping, do you hear? And again, there, knock some heads the old fashioned way, you hear ya? Hmm, what would be a good. Oh, yeah, I have five more BP. <laughs> what do I use it on, though? Maybe, uh... Hmm... Flower Saver. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> this one will take a little bit, because there's three Koop Magic Koopas. I there's three Cody's I gotta tell. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Underworld Servants. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Magic Koopa Masters. You fool, would you do well to fear our dark magic? Get yourselves ready to battle!
Like, look at the Cody's. Look at them. They're ready. That's a red Cody. It's a Koopa Troopa. It's a Koopa Wizard dressed in red. Besides using offensive magic, it can also use magic to boost attack and defense. When it's alone, this wizard will use magic attack to multiply. In fact, you can't tell which one's the real one after it multiplies super annoying. I have to say though, that shade of red is definitely not its color. Boing. You're dead. Ow. Uh oh, he's, he's zappy now. Zappy! That's a white Cody. It's a Koopa Wizard dressed in white. It attacks with magic and can replenish its allies. Better hit it first, huh? No, this guy also it also says that it'll use magic to make copies of itself when it's all alone. Which is totally annoying because you can't tell what's the real deal from the copy. Bingo! Oh, I'm not gonna get any of these bingos, I swear. Lol. <laughs> I fucked up the ash command. Yeah. Ow. I'm almost dead. Uh-oh. He's invisible now. That's not good. Okay. We're gonna guard, then. Man, it. That's a green Cody. It's a Koopa Wizard dressed in green. It has magic attacks. It can also use magic to make itself or allies electrified or invisible. It also says it'll use magic to make copies of itself, but it's all alone. But it's totally annoying because then you can't tell us the real deal. Alright, I'm gonna defend. Oh, thanks, Merly. Thank God. <laughs> Woo! I could just do peril strats, to be honest. Actually, wait, I have Mega Rush, don't I? Mario! Whoa! Another fighter storming in, screaming his head off about something. Gonzalez has a lot of foes. Folks, some who don't even know his name. Will he live? Word on the street that some mustache doofus was in Glitzville. And look at here. Talk about perfect timing. Now all these folks get to watch me myrtleize you. Ooh. Yeah, this fucking music. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you, and I have witnesses. Yeah, Bowser's battle theme, let's go. That's Bowser! But what's he doing here? My mind just blew a fuse. He's uglier than I expected. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. It'll make your HP decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. Just focus your attention on beating him down, Mario. Alright, I got a better idea. Whoop! <laughs> Raw. Alright, power bounce time. Wow, he actually makes noise when you hit him, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Doesn't hurt me. Okay, I need to heal now. 
Um, go fried egg. Ugh. Well, I expect nothing less from you, Mario. Very easy to get some licks in. Aw, oh, fuck. I wanted to get that super guard. Oh. Yeah! Alright, how can we end this in style? HP drain, go! Boom. That was fucking awesome. Ooh, that's our Gonzalez. He don't even bat an eye when some fool ambushes him. Tough. You're too tough, son. And you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya! Now there's that obscure Bowser fight. Well, I mean, I think it happens when I already play through. Usually I get it after the Magic Group of Masters, though, is what I noticed. Wow, that was Bowser, right? Keepers, but who would have thought he'd show his face here? Gonzalez, I see you have the gleam of a true warrior in your eyes now. Never lose it. There's no way a mustache is better than a spike. I mean, that's just nonsense. My hammer has really been on fire lately. Seriously, man, I just can't lose. When I watch you fight, it makes me want to win more than anything. I think next is Craw Daddy. Well, boy, to had a fight. Gonzalez, fix of a fight, eh? Okay, then your next opponent will be rank four in the glitch pit, Craw Daddy. Now, listen, son, this fight, I want you to avoid using your jump. No jumping whatsoever. Oh, wow. I want to see a pure test of power without none of that flat shit around, you get me? Now get in there and hand out a whooping or two. Oh wow. Go figure, the fight that I don't use jump on is the fight that I can't use my jump in to begin with. Hmm. I don't have Mega Rush still. I could take these off and put on Power Plus, maybe. There we go. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Bonk. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Dark Gatekeeper. Yep, a fight to the finish with Craw Daddy. Foolish mortals, I will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. Get yourselves ready to battle! Yeah! He's ready. Alright, here's the Dark Craw. These guys are gonna be fun to fight in the pit later. That's a Dark Craw. Yikes, what a ghastly looking spear thrower. Max hey, he's 20, attack is 6, defense is 0. Wow, that's some serious attack power. You don't want to jump on it if his spear is pointing up, because that would hurt. For run of the middle spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make. Ha! <laughs> I did not heal my FP. Whoops. Hmm. You know, actually, good question. What would happen if I... What happens if I use point swap when you have 0 FP? I don't know. Let's try Clock Out, for the first time. Boom. Yeah, take that, loser. All right, we need, we need FP stat. I don't really have any good FP healing items, unfortunately. So, here we go. Oh, that actually just straight up kills her. Okay. 
Well, uh, good to know. I actually did not know that. But you know what? That's pretty funny. Hey, I mean, I wanted to, I wanted to fuck around with point swaps, you know. <laughs> and it looks like I got my wish. Bitch. Well, this fight's over then. As long as I get the cash command. Take that, yeah! And I'm one star point away from a level up. <laughs> oh, of course I am. Man, I'm so rich now. Brown, 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 yeah, even even when you do the conditions properly, this chapter still takes over three hours. Uh, Mario, your pocket's beeping. Mail time. Mail time. Go to the telephone booth on the pavilion from X. Oh, it's from X again, huh? Telephone booth? Pavilion? Does he mean outside? You're never seeing a phone booth. Well, I better go look around. You're pretty strong, but your partner's are strong too, baby. Maybe I should get a new partner, huh? By the way, my mother gave me this helmet, but told me not to tell my father. Yeah, I left my whole family behind to come make a name for myself. They're cheering me on. You had to make it to the top of them, man. Spikes and mustaches are both bri bristly, I guess. That's the only similarity. You, Gonzalez, you are now a rival worthy of my skills. Uh, I don't need to heal. I think I'm good now. <laughs> you mean, Flurry is dead. Gonzalez! Good timing, you pudgy little punk. Uncle Rockhawk's got some advice for you. If you keep stealing my spotlight from me, you're gonna enter World Hurt, brother. Quit making such a splash. If you value pretty life. <laughs> Hey, who does that guy think he is threatening us? But oh, wait, threatening us? Maybe the hate mail came from Rockhawk. Well, one way or the other, we need to be really careful from now on. Boing, boing. I will have no vocal cords at the end of this stream. Actually, at the end of this chapter. Wow. Is there anything different here? You know, I just realized I must be in love with him or something. Well, I mean, I am going up the ranks, lady. Well, hello there, you love, you large, lovely tiger of a man. You, you're fantastic, dear. The gossips have it that you've made some headway in the major league, but I doubt you can be rock hockey, poor thing. That only man for me is the one wearing that shiny belt. You know what, actually? I haven't talked to this guy in a while. Realize Caraman here. You know Rockhawk spends like days in the bathroom. I don't know what he does in there, but I do know this. I need a scoop like that. <laughs> you know, I love all these posters. They're great. Welcome to the Glass Pit. You'll be champ soon. Don't tell, but I'm rooting for you. Yo, yo, Great Gonzalez, two questions. How's your mind state? And if you were a jungle animal, what noise would you make? Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Let me get some snaps to you, Gonzalez. They love me now. Great mustache. Are you gonna be a rock hawk? Think you even beat Prince Mush? The title match is coming up. My son's so proud of you. He's your biggest fan. And he's say, where's your little partner today? I wanted to meet we. Get bumped, Wee! The title match is coming up! I'm pulling for you all the way, Wee! Yeah, give him heck! That's just his name now, Wee. <laughs> you know what? That's not a bad name, honestly.
I swear that every time I come out here, the music changes. Hey, the rough and tumbling battle sisters, tra traveling sisters three. Only I said mustaches. The great Gonzalez. Ah, can I have a good autograph? Ah, ah, let me touch your hat. You can probably taste that championship belt, huh? I'm pulling for you. No matter how many times I approach her, a young woman recoils in awe. Her heart is a gold place, a black hole where my love goes to die. The universe can be a gold place sometimes, eh? Why must this be? Gonzalez, seems that no fighter can stop your momentum. Your run reminds me of the glory days of Prince Mush, the first Glitz Pit champion. This is a bit out of the blue, but I really wouldn't mind being the strongest guy alive. I think that's the same, actually. Gonzalez, I gotta tell you, man, even if you challenge the champion, I'm still betting the farm on Rockhawk, because that guy's unstoppable. Hey, what's shaking, dude? Knock some heads today, okay? Prince Mush always did. You know, let's, let's learn a bit more, more about the Seekers of Battle, you know? We got, um, Star Power. Special moves are powered by your star power, right, Mario? You get star power back by doing action commands successfully. But if you need star power in a hurry, you can also use appeal to get really get the crowd on your side. If you really want to rack up star power, you got good at stylish moves, kiddo. You do that by pressing A with real good timing when you and your partner attack an enemy. You'll be able to get you be able to tell you pulled it off by real changes in how your move looks. You can always use your timing tutor badge to show you A icon when it's the right time to pull her off. Alright, if you want to practice these, I can help you practice action command shtick. Hitting bingo! Did you know that you hit your hex band, the symbol appears at the top right of the screen? So if you hit a couple of matching our symbols and then hit a third action band, you might hit it big. Press A at the right moment and stop the wheel so you get the three in a row and you get a cool effect. Mushrooms heal all your HP, flowers restore your FP, stars will fill up your star power to max. Shiny tries are the big prize, they restore your HP, FP, and star power. On the three in a row brings a crowd for the audience, so you get extra star power for a while. For the three poison mushrooms result, you use a bunch of HP, FP, and star power, and crowd size. Watch it. How many more of these? There, are, there's a bunch of le there's a bunch of these left. There are items you can use to fight enemies and others that can heal you up. Use them during a battle with the item command, obviously. Oh, and you don't have to be in a fight. Press press to open the menu. You choose gear and item. All right. What about um? What about Yoshi? Yoshi's go up attack and hit up to two enemies while completely ignoring their defense. Ground Pound is a bunch of times when attack is only one, so it isn't very effective against strong defense. But if you use Power Punch to raise his attack, that's a different story. Leveling up. As your level goes up, the stage of your fighter will become bigger and fancier. The maximum audience size will also go up, so you gain more star power faster and faster. The downside though is that bigger stages will be more stuff can follow on you, so watch out for that. Oh no, I just realized we're gonna have to deal with the fog soon. Certain attacks shake up the stage, which can cause accidents. Shings might fall from the C-ring, and the whole backdrop might collapse on you. You can use guard against these, so keep your peepers peeled and ready. What about uh, enemies with spikes? When you and your partner use enemies that attacks that throw you you right under enemy with spikes, it hurts you. You can use the spike shield badge to protect yourself as one option, but that won't help you against item enemies that counterattack with fire, lightning, ice, or poison, so be careful. Your hammer can't reach enemies up in the air, disappointing, I know. In those situations, you gotta use a jump or a or partner with attacks that can reach high enough. Oh, and there's a hammer throw badge that lets you hit sweet, sweet hammer against anyone. Alright, let's do, like, one more. If you rank up your partner's defense strats, you'll block in some damage before it gets to you. One way to do that is to choose Defend on the Tactics menu. That'll temporarily increase it by one. Another option is to equip a Defend Cross Badge. That'll, defense, that'll boost defense by one as long as you're wearing it. Alright, I think that's enough for now. So I heard you ranked pretty high in Major League these days, guy. Yeah, I definitely have to look into this profiling racket. Might be simple. And I have goggles on, but my eyesight's 20-20. They're what you call fashion. 
I wonder, do you think I can cure my air sickness by closing my eyes and chewing gum? Key! Storage key. Oh! Go to the storage room next to Grubba's office. What the heck is this guy's problem? The storage room? I mean, does he think we need to exercise? This dude's really cheesing me off. Hmm. Yeah, I saw you in a fight. Yeah, you're really strong. My daddy was really happy. People who who my daddy likes become really great, mostly. You're gonna be great, too. Oh, it's you, Gonzalez. I should say, you'll have Rockhawk's attention now, hmm? Yes, I have a feeling you might become the champion one day, not long from now. Combat sports do so repel me, but my dear Bub will be a corporate VP one day. I hear those boardrooms can get quite heated. Perhaps he should know some self-defense. I wonder if there are any reputable self-defense tutors around here. Yeah, you know what? I'll save. And saved in a while. I need to buy some FP items, man. But they don't sell FP items here. They only sell point swaps, man. You know what? I'll take out um, a honey syrup. There we go. Mm hmm. You know, take out the mystery, too. For shits and giggles. All right, well, we get to keep going. There's the storage room again. Looks like all we need to do is find a door that's locked. It doesn't really matter what door you go into, honestly. I want to see what Gabelle has to say about this. Oh! Oh, <laughs> we made again, you husky mustache hunk, you. You again, Miss Flirt a lot. Are you following us or what? You know, security heard you bung me around here. It was you, right? Oh, please. No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. I'm quite obvious that someone else must be here monkeying about in here. <laughs> please. I'm, like, so sure. Hush. All you need to know is I've taken what I needed, and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. Hmm. <laughs> and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Oh! Are you trying to set a world record for flirting or what? I almost forgot my sweep. This arena holds many secrets, you know. You should be very careful, lest you end up like those poor souls upstairs. And with that, goodbye my delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. What's with that burglar rat? I swear I'm gonna head bonker if he doesn't watch it. But whatever. What do you what do you think he meant by poor, poor poor souls upstairs? Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom again. Oh, never mind. It's an email. Find the switch to read the attic. The switch is supposed to be somewhere in this room. Hmm. Which switch will grant us access to the second floor? Perhaps it's hidden behind something. Oof. Take that. Charge P. Wait, wait, I have a question. Oh, yeah, you can. You can do splash damage on the blocks. Ooh, so fancy. We can look inside the storage room you just unlocked. Oh, yeah, and the floor is still dead, <laughs> by the way. Well, she is in peril now. I, I could actually be kind of useful keeping her in peril like that. I have a Mega Rush P, right? Yep. Uh, I mean, I don't know if I want to keep on Power Plus P, though. I want to I wanna have my other badges back on. 
I hear. Let me get this real quick. Well, I can also go down here. Yeah, but I want to get that HP plus real quick. Oh, wait, actually, I think you have to go this way. And Yoshi's kind of hard to control in this game. Okay, well, let's just do this then. Ah. I think we're above the ceiling. It's a bit cramped in here and dark too. This is the first time I've ever snooped from above. Ooh, I hope there's a little vent we can spy through. Well, not quite a vent, but this is here. <laughs> so you didn't find a hide of hair, nobody in the storage room, that what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubba. It appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely, likely just a rat or something. Well, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there, we missed too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. Hey, and by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubba. And so, I, del I deleted his spot on our ro roster for regulations. The Glitz Pit no longer has any official connection to KPP, aka King K. I have, of course, taken the same step that all fighters have gone missing. Oof, fighters have been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth time this year. What tarnation's going on? I even heard some security agent saying the pit's cursed. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being, tell the other fellows that King K head on home for a spell. If word gets about a missing fighters, it sure ain't gonna be good for business, no siree. Nasty rumors of a way of sending folks run to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubba. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a damn fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world you go, darling? Uh, that's... Mr. Grubba, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Easy. Didn't mean to pry now. How about this, then? Heard of the Crystal Star? No, I I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubba. Okie dokie. Well, I appreciate the time, Miss Jolene. You go ahead and run along now, you hear? Well, if this ain't a fine how you do, you do. Seems like good fighters are a dime breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got around here. Mario, you listening to this? This whole missing fighter thing stinks of funny business. And here I just thought that King K retired and head back to his hometown. <laughs> hey, somebody up there? Uh. Who, Nelly? Just a little burp feel. Here I am, thinking someone up there's a peeping. I gotta relax. Take some yoga class or something. Yeah, well, back to the ring. I'm glad they kept in the burping beetle line. That, that one's great. Ew, boy, that was close. Did you catch how Grubba just came out of left field with that crystal star bit? Jolene was acting totally weird, right? I bet she knows something. Anyway, for now, we better get out of here before someone finds us. There must be some way we can slip through here with how to get down there. Yeah, this really is the longest chapter in the game. Next to chapter 8. Chapter 3 and chapter 8, longest chapters in the game. Which is ironic, because chapter 4 and chapter 6 are like the shortest chapters in the game, if you know what you're doing. I'm not sure, though. Okay, uh, I haven't, haven't advanced that yet. Uh, what's next? The, um... Is it Hammer Battle and Flare or Chomp Country? I forget. Your next opponent will be Rank 3 in the Glitz Pit, Hammer Battle and Flare. Now listen, son, in this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once, son. I want to see how you do when you ain't got nothing to beat a fella with. Yeah, get in there and let's see some acrobatifying. Okay, well, uh, no multi-bounce and power, or no quick hammer then, I guess. 
Uh, good question. What do, what, what do I want, actually? I could put on close call. Yeah, sure, you know what? Fuck it. Actually, I should heal up first. <laughs> Wait, if I heal, does that mean, um, Flurry gets healed up, though? Oh, well. Too late now, I guess. Yeah, I think everybody gets healed up for that. I love how this just does not fit the, um, like, the, the font at all. That's pretty funny. <laughs> the new This newborn Yoshi baby may be small, but he's got quite an attitude. Press X to hop on his back and move more quickly. Hold A when jumping to float through the air and for a short period of time. Drop on enemies from above and crushing them repeatedly. The more the gauge is filled, the more times he'll use ground pound. Inhale an enemy and spit it out at another enemy on the ground. This attack ignores defense when damaging hit or swalled enemies. Press ZR and release when Lassar lights up. I haven't looked at Flurry yet either, have I? Flurry is a cloud spirit who controls the wind. Press X and hold out, hold out, hold to blast out mighty winds and blow things away. Blow blasts at enemies to make their heads spin. Keep the cursor inside the circle. Be mindful of spiky or fiery enemies. They'll end up damaging her instead. Plunge down to the enemy above. Attack all enemies with a powerful gust of wind. Press hold, press hold and release A with perfect timing. Gale Force can also be used to blow away smoke on the stage. Ah. Wait, it's called smoke, not fog? <laughs> I guess we've been calling it the wrong thing for the past 20 years. Suck away enemies HP and add it to flurries with a kiss. Press the button only when star lights up. The enemy's defense is ignored when sucking up HP. That's what makes Flurry so good. She can basically live indefinitely with that. So we have uh, Glitzville. Floating city in the sky known for its exotic atmosphere. We only have 20% of the star pieces. What the fuck? Warriors clash in epic bouts here every day. It's rumored that the rich and famous travel here to bet on the matches. Where are all the star pieces in the Glitz pit anyway? I don't quite remember. Like, I think, well, I think one of them is in, like, the lobby, actually. Thumbs up! I know one's in Grubba's office. I know that. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Big Bad Brute Bros. Yep, a fight to the finish, with Hammer, Bama, and Flare. My grandpapy's hammer is gonna strike you down, man. Here it comes. Get yourselves ready to battle! <laughs> They're ready. Don't use your hammer. That's a hammer, bro. You know him. He throws hammers, hence the name. Max HP 7, attack is 4, and defense is 1. When his HP drops and you think he's in trouble, he'll toss a hammer barrage. Nothing about these guys has ever changed. They're as tough as ever. So brace yourself. Dang, this book always skips the important stuff. How do they carry endless hammers? Well, I do have a stopwatch, so... Let's use that. Wow, that's a pretty fire animation, honestly. Immobilized. Yeah, Murray Lee coming in with a clutch. Oh, no, 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 uh, super guard, sadly. That's a fire, bro. This relative of the hammer, bro, spits out fire. If you get hit by a fireball, you might catch on fire, so guard well, okay? When his HP gets low, he gets desperate and totally starts attacking like a fiend. Let's have some fun. Damn. I need to stop going for the stylishes, but it's too cool. Ow. That's a boomerang, bro. This relative of the hammer bros prefers boomerangs. 
He attacks twice with his boomerangs, on the way out and on the way back. When his HP starts getting low, he fights all the harder. Prepare for multiple attacks. Okay, well, you're going down, buddy. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Yeah, he, do he does a multi-attack. Jeez. Alright, you know what? It's time for the shooting star. Ooh, real pretty attack. Alright, more BP. <laughs> Definitely getting trickier with the 10 HP run I'm doing. 22 coins! Wow! Oh no! Bathroom time again! Oh never mind, it's just an email! It was your last warning. Stop stupid around about the Crystal Star. If you don't, you'll suffer the same fate as others who have gone missing. Great! Great, uh, our angry pen pal again. He sure seems to have a lot of information. I mean, if he knows about the Crystal Star and the missing fighters, then this guy's totally holding the key to this entire mystery. But, like, who is it? Who? Who? Wow, way to go, baby. Gotta black out how much better you are than me. I will redouble my trading. And I'm thinking something's cool. I always say it's spectastic. You might catch on. My father, the business bro, is in the audience today. He worries about me getting hurt doing this kind of work. I can't let him see me lose. Things are going badly. Knock him on his back, okay? <laughs> Some funny, funny line there. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Your next opponent will be ranked 2 in the Glitz Pit, Chomp Country. Now listen son, in this battle, I want you to avoid swapping partners out. Gotta go with who brung you. Fight to the end, side by side. Now that's drama. Now get in there and stay in your pod. Oh yeah, this is where they bring in the poison cake. Pardon me, Mr. Gonzalez. Another gift arrived from one of your miters. I'll just leave it over here if that's okay. Do with it what you will. You know what? I kind of want the extra challenge, but I know I'm not gonna... You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Oh, that looks totally yummy. I can't... I can I cannot say no to cake. Let's scarf that thing. Yes, cake time! Oh. Oh, so good. Hold your horse, Mario. I saved you a little... Ugh. Oh! Oh, wait. I feel kind of weird. I feel like your body is like totally going numb. I will redouble my training. <laughs> oh, they don't. They don't have anything to say about that. No, I can't move. Yeah. So for once, uh, I'm, I'm actually gonna do. I'm because usually I just skip the cake, but I want to challenge myself a bit. Can't change out my party members if I don't have any party members. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I do have Mega Rush P on. I've had it on this whole time. <laughs> what? Your partner's been paralyzed by a cake? Tough luck. We gotta go. House packed. Come on, follow me. Okay, I guess. We're gonna get the tattle later, anyways. It's fine. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Red Orb Fear Orbs. Yep, 
a fight to the finish with Chunk Country. Whoa, hold the phone, folks. What in tarnation's going on here? The Greg Gonzalez is flying solo this time. How is he going to survive all alone? Get yourselves ready to battle! Time to do a solo run. Rock, rock, don't swap partners. Well, they're really slow in this. <laughs> Close call kicked in. I wasn't expecting close call to kick in, though. That's pretty funny. Pretty funny. Danger strats. So weird seeing Mario up there with, like, with no partner, though. <laughs> Ranking Rosa 2. Hey, I'm feeling better now. Way to kick some tail even without me, Mario. Still, a poison cake. Somebody is totally trying to take us out. We gotta be more careful, huh? Only what it feels like to be the ultimate fighter. Must feel like staying on top of the world, baby. Yo, how dare you interfere with my meditation? Time is too precious to squander on one such as you. It's between you and me. Sometimes I have nightmares that my spike fell off. You start to lose confidence when your rank doesn't go up, you know what I mean, man? Hey, but I come this far, so I can't stop now. I have to fight for all the Koopas who helped me get here. I have to, man. Oh yeah, we're gonna do some exhibition matches, by the way. Because I think this is where the Destructoids start showing up as well. I love that they all have like unique, like unique sprites too. Exhibition match against Chop Country, yeah. Mm. Nope, I don't need FP. I am good. <laughs> I am as good as butter. Bow, bow. Bow. Oh, you can just skip it. <laughs> okay. Dude, thank God for the skip feature, am I right? Now, if only I had extra attack. That's a red chomp. It's a rabid, red, biting, chewing, chomping fool. His attacks are so powerful, we could be in a world of hurt if we don't beat it fast. Which is why it's really, really annoying that his defense is so high. His HP is pretty low, though, so I have special moves might just work. Just look at that color. Think someone painted it after fell asleep at a party? Alright, quick time. And just maybe I can get the super guard. It wasn't if it was the chain chomps were so fucking slow in this version. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, good on you exhibition match. I got 10 coins. And that's just so I can get the tattle on the red chomp. Alright, we're gonna do another exhibition match because I think the Destructoids are here now. I was gonna look at all these sprites. Yo, look at that. Look at that Shady Koopa down there. He's 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 gonna nick someone. The bristles, the spike tops. Oh, the Iron Donsons are expressionless. Hit <laughs> Bond Squad, the punk rocks. Yo, look at that smug ass plant. What the fuck? Spike Storm, the dead bones, the pokey triplets, the Goomba Bros, Wings of Night, the Destructors. Yeah, they exist. They're real.
Dude, this is the first time ever fighting these guys legitimately. <laughs> I mean, I just want to see the dialogue and, you know, I want to see them up there, you know? For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Flying Bullets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Destructors. You got bad luck getting matched against, against us. See, now that line doesn't it doesn't hit this quite the same <laughs> as in the original. Because in the original, it implies that you suck so bad that you purposely went down to fight them. But it doesn't really hold the same water. Eh, but oh well. Alright, anyways. I'm gonna take these bitches. And they give no star points. That's just how weak they are. They also have a losing quote, but I'm not gonna go through all of those. This will be more it'll be more interesting to look those up on the wiki or something. Alright, I can I definitely wanna heal now. Either that or I use an honey syrup. Mmm. Yeah, I'll use the honey syrup. Firm, firm, firm. All right, ranked match time. Well, boy, had a Gonzalez six for a fight, eh? Okay, then your next opponent will be ranked one in the Glitz Pit, the Koopanator. Now, listen, son, in this battle, I want you to use at least one special move, okay? Crowd needs something flashy to catch my drip. Give him a good show. Now get in there and blow the roof off, son. We're getting there, guys. We're getting to the end of the chapter soon. Three whole hours of chapter- I'm telling you, man, chapter three is the longest fucking chapter in the game. Yeah, my first episode just went live right now. <laughs> That's so weird. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Razor Blade Brigadier. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Koopanator. You finally, I get a piece of you. Finally, we see who's stronger. Get yourselves ready to battle! The Fuka puppet. Use a special move at least once. I will do so in a little bit. Gotta knock this guy over first. The. <laughs> That's a dark Koopa Troll. These guys just totally ooze toughness, don't you think? Next HP 25, attack is 5, defense is 2. After it charges up power, its next attack will be devastating. Try to survive it. It almost looks like those red eyes are there to warn you about how tough it is. Or maybe it doesn't get much sleep. Alright, you know what? I mean, it says it wants me to use a special move, so I will use Clock Out again. Wow! Mash. Mash. Keep mashing. Boom. Get yeah, fucked. Yeah. Well, this guy's gonna be a piece of cake. Piece of cake. Merly! gonna do some serious damage oh my god I just did 18 damage <laughs> holy fuck talk about overkill we got ourselves a winner the great Gonzalez
Wow, that went hard as shit. 30 coins. Now, if you excuse me, I must be going. Oh! Hey, that's another male. What do you think? Our ex friend or the haterator? Remove the great Gonzalez posters in the lobby. Oh, X again, huh? Okay. Still don't trust this guy, but I guess maybe it's a clue. Something's behind your posters in the lobby, huh? Alright. I guess we better head to the lobby, then. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna take a sleep real quick. Because I have no FP left. So wait, that means, um... You know what that means? That means a life shroom. Or, not what a life shroom. That means that a point swap could actually kill me if I'm at zero FP. <laughs> that makes it a pretty dangerous item. Alright, we're gonna need Flurry. It's a shame to take down those handsome poses of you, Mario. But if we must, we must. different in here now. The title match is coming up. My son's so proud of you. He's your biggest fan. And say, where's your little partner today? I wanted to meet Wii. Hey, Mustache, are you gonna beat Rockhawk? Think you can even beat Prince Mush? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Let me get some you, Gonzalez. Yo, yo, Greg Gonzalez. Two questions. How's your mind stay? Oh, okay, that's the same. I'm gonna glitz pit. You'll be champ soon. Okay, that's the, I think these are actually unchanged. Yeah, here's all of the, uh... Here's all of the met rankings. Hey, that is me! It members Mario. Just Mario. The partners don't matter. Yeah, these are, these are all unchanged. Okay, well... Actually, if I remember correctly, I believe the key is actually on the top floor. I think it's this one right here. Yep, sure enough. You got a storage key! Oh, my bathroom break is here! Go to the second floor of the storage room from X. It's good thing we can go around a little bit faster with Yoshi. I did never tattle this area. The storage room looks so moody in this room. I love it. This is the Glitz Pit storeroom. They must keep props or something in here. There's a second floor too. If you see anything odd, don't forget your partners. It's honestly night and day. Like, look at the, the lighting in this room is fucking crazy. This is the storeroom. There are lots of wooden crates in here, that's for sure. But it doesn't seem to be any use yet now, does it? I mean, it's covered in dust. You know, I don't think I've ever knocked down this block with Flurry out. Let's do that. Oh my word! What on earth is this? Fan the end of you poor D and King K! How awful! Ugh. Well, here's a star piece. How is our star piece totals doing? 40%. We have, like, none. Ugh. You Gonzalez. Listen to me. Ugh. And uh, don't get near the ring when no one is around. Uh, 
Oh, Andy, honey, just hang on. Why would we want to avoid the ring now? My word, did you see that? I do believe that was young Miss Jolene. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> Love that little stinger sound. That was kind of cool. Burm, burm, burm. There's no panel in here, is there? Burm. Oh, there is. Wow. God, I forgot about this one. Okay, I know where the other one is. I know there's a star piece panel in the lobby, so let me go get that one. Exhibit or uh, title match soon, by the way, guys. Yeah, there's one. In, there's one right here, I think. It's right here. Oh, I was on top of it. Fuck. Oh. Uh, okay, so it should say 80% now. Yeah, the last one's in Grubba's room. I know that. So, were we... Oh, basically 100% in Chapter 3. Right, here we go. Alright, rank match time. The Great Gonzales, howdy! Thanks for a fight, eh? <laughs> well, guess what? Your next match is the title match! Hoo-wee! Time tootin'! You're up against the champ, Rockhawk! Now, I wanna see a fair and exciting match, so don't let me down, you hear? Now listen, son, in this battle, there are no conditions. You fight in the champ with every trick and technique you got. Now get in there and win yourself a championship. Yeah, that's weird, because in the original, he says use a special move, but it doesn't matter if you use one or not, so it makes sense for there to be no conditions anyway. What's it like knowing you're so close to the top, huh? Don't get a big head, baby. You know, I'm actually a little jealous of your hammer. I mean, your skill. But forget skill, I'm gonna try harder than you anyways. Become the champ. You fight on, Mr. Gonzalez. I'm gonna keep fighting too. You, you should ever face me again, you'll know the pain of our defeat. Our match is coming up, are you ready to throw down, Mario? This is Major League Locker Room. Everyone here dreams of reaching the top. You can almost feel the intensity of their ambition in the air. It's weird. Speaking of weirdness, there's always someone in the bathroom. Okay, I think I read that already. Thumbs up! Hey, where do you think you're going, pal, huh? The ring is this way. <laughs> yeah, uh, you go this way this time because it's a special match. Slow down, will you, buddy? Why are we going this weird way again? Very sus. You two wait here. Oh? Why? But this is a Meyer League locker room, and seeing which, where is everybody? I know you said the wait here, but Mario, we're gonna miss our fight against the champ. <laughs> now for today's main event, the top dog of the Major League, the Great Gonzalez. It's finally gonna throw down with the champ, the one, the only, Rockhawk! First to enter the ring, the Golden Grandstander, Rockhawk! What happened to the Feral Nuclear Reactor? You go champ, you go champ! Doggies, champ. How you feeling, son? That your challenger is a handful. He don't want a handful of this. Uh-uh. There's only one champ, and it's me, brother. Even if this Gonzalez was ever shows up, what's he gonna do, huh? Nothing. But the great Gonzalez made it to the top of the mages faster than anyone ever. 
He ain't got up there faster than you did, champ. What you gonna say about that? What do I have to say about that? <laughs> That's what. Who cares what this guy did to a bunch of chumps? Cause now, he gets ranked. Or rocked, whatever. Ranked. Okay, they're like totally ridiculously late now. I'm gonna find out what's up. Oh my gosh. Gosh, Mario, it's locked. The door is locked. We're totally trapped. Whoa! And now for our challenger, the merciless executioner, the Great Gonzalez. Hold the phone, folks. What the hell is going on? What happened to the Great Gonzalez? <laughs> I tell you what happened. He fears the rock. Hooey! What a stupid fan development, folks. Did the Great Gonzalez really turn yellow and head for the hills like a dog? I tell you what, folks, if he don't show match soon, he's gonna forfeit the match. Boo! Mario, if you don't do something soon, we're gonna forfeit the match. We gotta get out of here. This is a minor league locker room. It's just as gnarly as the one we are in. If you check the lockers or behind the posters, I bet you'll find auto graffiti or busted walls. We must get out of here at once, so if only we could simply blow some part of the wall away. Listen to this funky music. Love this little room here. This is another locker room with major league competitors. It's opposite the other one. Why was there a hidden room behind the locker anyway? What would it be used for? Misty's are totally everywhere in the glitz pit. Do any of these lockers have anything? Ooh, that's new. That has to be new. I don't remember there being a life room in there. And I don't think you can ever get to that life room ever again either if you missed it. Okay, that counts as a loading zone. Shoot, this one won't budge either. This stinks. Let's try every possible exit that we can find fit into. Oh wait, wrong one. No way, don't tell me we're going to. I mean there's no way we're actually going to. Uh oh, this better work. Down the toilet! <laughs> We need to get out of here. Let's try every possible exit we can fit into. That was maybe the grossest thing I've ever done. Hey, this is the Major League locker room. Our fight is on. Whoa, what's the deal, man? You drop your hammer in the can? I hate doing that. Um, why you just come out of the toilet? You, Gonzalez, why do you dally here? Your four waits. What, Gonzalez? Uh, don't you have a match right now, baby? This is a major league locker room. You're the great Gonzalez, right? Head on in. You're late, Mr. Gonzalez. You better get in there. The crowd is going berserk. Mmm. Will you just call me? I did he say that. I did not trick you. I have no idea what you're talking about. You better check yourself. I love when Mario's angry. Imagine can start soon. Let's hurry to the ring. Here's a backstage quarter. That's so okay, that's the same. Where are you going, bub? The fans are waiting for you out there. What do you have to say about this one, Gumbella? Okay, I think that's the same. I need to make sure I have the right badges for this as well. This was a grub as obviously. You may only enter what called by Mr. Grubba. I 
Like, I'm curious. What is... What does this guy have to say? Oh, to me, Mr. Gonzalez, you'll still make it interesting on the other side. <laughs> There's a minor league locker room. Okay, nothing interesting. Alright, what badges do I want for this? Yeah, you know, I, I actually Quake Hammer will be useful. Yeah, you know, let's put on charge. Let's throw on charge. We might want it, honestly. And I think that's it. Whoop. I like this music. <laughs> The moment you've been waiting for, folks, the great Gonzalez just entered the arena. Gonzalez, Gonzalez, Gonzalez. Wow, looks like we actually made it. Listen to those cheers, Mario. They love you. Come on, let's go put this oversized rooster in his place, huh? You rock, man. Yeah, you're the plumber. You're late. Gonzalez, you're late. Just listen to this crowd who and holler for the challenge of the great Gonzalez. Will his habit of hurting, harm, be enough of the, to rock the rock hawk sucks? Now, long last, the battle to end all battles is here. Let's keep it clean, boys. Get yourselves ready to battle! This is that rock hawk theme. Okay, Mario, this is it. A match with the champ. Let's destroy this guy. <laughs> you wimps should stay locked up safe and sound, brother. What? What are you saying? Don't tell me it was you who got that security guard to lock us up. You're darn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers. That's what happens when you mess with me, baby. You meet the pain train. So you're the jerk that's saying us mean emails about the Crystal Star. <laughs> I have no idea what you're babbling about now. What's a Crystal Star, brother? No way, I don't care. I may not play exactly fair, but I got skills, punks. And now you're about to meet them all, brother. Prepare to be rocked. Music goes hard, dude. Yeah, Rock Hogan. That's Rockhawk. He flips, flaps, and slaps. That's what the book says. Max H is 40, attack is 4, and defense is 0. He's really good at aerial maneuvers, but other than that, he's pretty meh. One thing you should know is that Rockhawk never fights above the board. Carelessness needs to lifelessness, you know? Man, this music goes hard. Oh boy, Poison Bingo again. Ow. You know what, we, should we use, no, we, I don't want to use uh, Yoshi, because he, he doesn't have that much health. Actually, Flurry Knot might not be a bad idea for this fight. <laughs> oh well, it was worth a try. Bingo time! Yeah! Ow. Okay. Alright, sweet treat time. Those flowers and Mario heads, you know. All right, that should be all right. Right now. 
Ugh, not too shabby. You're better than I thought. This may actually be fun. Don't get your head swelled up, though, because you got a ways to go. Check this out. Time to rock. Ow. <laughs> uh, peril strats, I guess. Fuck. Alright, um... Mm, you know what? Uh, yeah. Go for the point swap. Man, you're kind of annoying. How dare you turn the rock back on the hawk? I should have just taken care of you before the battle. I'm getting lazy, I guess. Well, since it's come down to this, I got no choice but to. Yeah. Oh boy, this one's gonna, this is gonna be rough. All right. I can't quake, unfortunately. Yeah! Alright, how should I end this? Let's hammer him. Actually, super hammer, even better. Yeah! No! I oh, Rockhawk, the champ, the undefeated master. I've lost to such losers. Yes! Fuck yeah. <laughs> Folks, I feel like my ass just popped out of my head. We got ourselves a miracle. <laughs> technique versus technique. Raw power versus raw power. A clash of superhumans. Folks, this was truly, honestly, without question, no doubt, absolutely the most legendary, amazing, improbable history making bout of all time. And the victor in this match for the ages was the great Gonzalez! Congratulations, Gonzalez. You're the champion, son. Yes! You got a champion's belt. Champ's belt you earn when you beat Rock Hawk. Give a hand, folks. The new Gliss Pit champ, the great Gonzalez! Well, you finally did it, son. Today's your first day as the new champion. Jolene, hand him the fight money. Here's your fight money of 100 coins, Mr. Gonzalez. 100 coins? Holy fuck. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and get you set up in the champ's room right away. Miss Jolene, be a peach and show Gonzalez here the champion's room, okay? Absolutely, sir. <laughs> finally, chapter 3 is over, I think. Oh, if only you knew. Well then, Mr. Champion, would you follow me, please? I had to get a single Super Gar in that fight, though, sadly. Nope, it's not over yet. <laughs> Bro. I'm telling you, man, it's the longest chapter in the game, next to chapter 8. Congratulations again, Mr. Champion. From now on, this is where you'll stay. It's your new room now, so make yourself at home. You'll use the terminals, you always have, of course. Will there be anything else? Well then, have a nice day, Mr. Champion. Mario, darling, we've finally done it. We beat that lout, but I dare say that chicken truly had no clue about the Crystal Star. We're still in dire straits as far as the real one goes. Wherever could it be? Oh my, Mario, darling. I do believe I hear a voice coming from somewhere. Oh? Oh! Might it be a ghost? Oh! Oh, I almost swooned. That mailbox SP is going to be the death of me. Discover the true nature of the ghost. So if that's to be believed, there's really a ghost? That's rather unsettling. Take a break? I might have to, because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I, honestly, I'd keep going if hunger wasn't a thing, but... 
probably for the best. I take like an hour break after this chapter. Break that shit. Well, you know what I forgot to do? I didn't tattle the champion's room. Ooh, that's cool. We're in the air duct, right? Where does it lead? Hang on, I gotta do some tattling. I had no idea that that vent was inside the storage room. This is the champ's room, yeah. This has to be like the worst decorating ever. Like that tiger print bed, I mean, come on. This Rockhawk design, think Rockhawk designed it? Or maybe Grubba? Couldn't be Jolene. We heard the voice from behind the vent inside the champ's room, right? Then I guess we better check it out. We're in the ventilation duct. It's really cramped in here and musty and dank. Woo! Oh! <laughs> well, that's in perfect condition, as usual. Yeah, as long as I got that baby working for me, this old bot ain't never gonna get weak. But I'm gonna have to watch my tootsies here for a bit. First I let that King K agent walk in on me when I was with that. And now I can't shake the feeling that Jolene and Gonzalez are on to me. Well, I guess I'll burn that bridge when the time comes. I'll just disappear him. Yep, just like I did them others. Like I did to Prince Mush, the first champ. That's Grubba. You think he could have made all those fighters disappear? I better lock this room up tighter than a peanut butter jar in a squirrel convention. And I'll just go ahead and hide the paper related to that in the desk drawer. There we go. You know what, though? This I'm thinking a lot here. Good fighters ain't nothing to mess with. Even Rock Hog lost to Gonzalez. This new champ might have to disappear pretty soon, for my sake. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs. Looks like he's gone. Didn't he say something about the desk jar? Which one had the star piece in it? Yeah! Is that 100% now? Let's fucking go! 100% chapter 3, baby! Yep, so. Sound gallery. Well, they have chapter 2 and chapter 1 unlocked, at least. How's our badge list looking? We got quite a bit, actually. We don't have power jump yet, we don't have a tornado jump, and we don't have... What's the other one I'm missing? Sleep stomp, yeah. That's the ones I'm missing. Power rush P is missing, mega rush is missing. <laughs> the GameCube badge. Okay. Um, any funny notes? Nope. Warriors clash in epic bouts here every day. It's rumored that the rich and famous travel here to bet on matches. A floating city in the sky known for its exotic atmosphere. What kind of documents are hidden in Grow's desk jar? Want to take a quick look? This is the promo letters room. It's fitting. It has a sort of relaxed authority, you know? This is where the pairings for each match get decided. Meet. There's something. You think that's paper? the paper grab ahead? Let's take a peek, huh? Ooh! Holy shit! Whoa, a machine under the ring using a crystal star? These are the blueprints. I don't know much about the technical stuff, but I think the crystal star powers it. If this document is accurate, then the machine can suck the power out of people. Do you think that King K and Bandy Annie have been, like, drained? Great Gollum and Gulpitz! How entire nation do you get in here, son? Well, slap me and call me Sassafras. You're stirring up my secret paper, too. Quiet, you total scumbag. You suck the life out of poor King and Bandy Andy. Well, Nelly, this ain't good. I'm out of here. Come on, Mario. We can't let that jerk get away. Oh, I just gotta... Just gotta... 
close the drawers first. There we go. I won't lie. I think the... I think the suspend... I think, like, the sinister silence of the original is better than this, like, panic music. Come on, let's chase after Grubba. He's probably heading for the ring. Mr. Grubba? Yeah, I actually headed through here a minute ago. He was wigging. Mr. Grubba? Yeah, I saw him heading towards the wing. He looked furious, too. Oh, yeah, all of these guys have something to say about Mr. Grubba. Mr. Grubba? No, I haven't seen him. I'm gonna talk to all these guys for shits and giggles. Mr. Grubba? Yeah, I saw him heading towards the rune. He looked furious, too. Oops, not what I meant to do. Mr. Grubba, he just ran by about a Mach 8, Mach 6. I think he went to the ring. <laughs> this is the champion's room. Go right in, sir. Wow, he's the only one who doesn't have anything about Mr. Grubba. Mr. Grubba? No, I haven't seen him. Mr. Grubba? No, I haven't seen him. And they all, these guys all just say the same. Some interesting dialogue there, though. All right, what kind of uh, setup are we gonna for? We're gonna want for Grubba here, then. Honestly, I think this setup's fine. Also, I'm still, I'm gonna be, I'm still Rising Star, but I think after this, I'm gonna be, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get Super. What is it called? Rank B Star? Or rank B stage, yeah. Ooh, I like how- that's- that's way- that's way cooler, actually. Grandma's in the ring. I'll bet the real deal, Crystal Star is there, too. Can't open that door. This is the glitz pit itself. That's the ring in the middle. That's where all the magic happens. And by magic, I mean brutal beatdowns. Very okay. There is still some of that sinister shit with the silence. I gotta say, y'all are a couple of slack jawed idiots sniffing around my business. Now you know my big secret. I'm afraid you're gonna have to take a little, little dirt nap. Oh, that still goes hard as always. Yeah, look at that shit. Look, Mario, up there, the real crystal star. <laughs> How do you like my machine? Pretty damn nice, huh? Yep, I've been sucking power from fighters with this baby. <gasps> yep, darn tootin'. And you know why? Because it keeps them bot for every young son. Using a crystal star to look good? You're so totally vain, you're gonna pay for that. Oh, just shut your traps now. I use my crystal star however I dang please. Check this out. <gasps> Muscle up! Macho Grubba! Whoa, Grubba got huge! Hooey! I'm gonna smush you guys in the guacamole and snack on your energy too! Alright, here's the fucking Grubba theme too. Macho! I'm a powerhouse now, you pestering little piece of prairie piffle. So long as I've had this machine here, my bot will be rough, tough, and ultra buff. Okay, Mario, I've had just about enough of this guy's yapping. Let's take him down. Can't flee this fight. Yeah, 
that's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. Ooh, listen to this fucking music, dude. This might, this might be better than the original, holy fuck. That's Macho Grubba. He's Grubba all souped up on Crystal Star Power. Max HP 60, attack is 4, defense is 0. His attack pattern is simple. First, he increases the number of times he can attack. Then he powers himself up with all sorts of wild power up he moves. So it's pretty important to pay close attention to how he's powered himself up. The wildest thing about this muscle head is that he was just regular Grubba a minute ago. I guess the Crystal Stars really are powerful. Alright, let's see what we can do. Do I have any Finny items that I can use? Not really. You know what? Mystery. Actually, no, I'll wait on the mystery. Yeah. More chests to attack are now available. Not bad. Fuck, I, I mean, I really need to stop doing that, honestly. Oh, yeah. Keep it spicy, you know? I love a good Tesla Gonzalez. Keep on scrapping, son. Of course, it ain't gonna do you much good in the end. Defense up. Defense is boosted. I wanted to get, I wanted to get, um, I wanted to get my, okay, you might, we might need Flurry for this, honestly. Two damage. Ooh, yeah. More defense, great. Ooh, ugh, oh, fuck, mate. Okay, um, backup plan. I need a hot dog. I'm so glad the TTYD remake is getting, like, more recognition now from this game. Yeah, get kissed, bitch. Ooh, attack up, that's not good. I might be dead, actually, if I don't guard this. Oh, no! <laughs> well, fuck. Well, there goes my life shroom. Oh, no, 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 get that out of here, bitch. You know what? Mystery, go! Ooh, shooting star. That's pretty nice. Not too shabby, Gonzalez. You got showmanship, and that's gold in this biz. But this here battle is just getting started. It's time I showed you some real moves. Back in the day, I had so many rope kicking moves, they had to make some illegal. Here we go. More chance to attack are now available. I'm running out of FP, mate. Um. I guess we'll wait on that, then. 
I'm actually running out of move out of FP. Huh, <laughs> crazy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but now he's that electrified. Oh, fuck. Ooh, I ain't finished yet, Gonzalez. Ain't over till it's over, man. That's the way it goes in this combat sport, son. And let me tell you something. Forge is gonna smile at me in the end, punk. Oh, power up. He's getting serious now. Ow. All right, let me use my hammer. Yeah, Merle, coming to the rescue. I'm just gonna do now. I I don't even know. Like, ten damage. Ten damage. We can finish him in style then. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Woo! Oh yeah! Level up, bitch! Honestly, I need more FP after that. I kept running out of FP in that fight. Like, so much. Yay! Mario became a B-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowd and stage will get bigger. No! How did this happen? How could such a perfect bot like mine lose to such a schlub? Oh, great, Gonzalez. Great fight there, son. Great fight. Oh! Mr. Champion? No, I mean, Mario. Please let me to offer my earnest thanks for defeating that foul grubba. Oh, why, Miss Jolene? I really have to apologize. I'm so sorry that you'd all get involved. But you must understand, I had to learn the truth about this arena by any means. Let me tell you everything. I had a little brother once by the name of Mush. He'd have done anything for me. Well, our family was always poor, so he became a fighter here to support all of us. But he suddenly went missing one day. Our family was inconsolable. I suspected foul play, so I got hired on as the manager investigating his secret. Ooh, this remix is great. As I looked for clues about my brother, I accidentally saw Mr. Grubba transform. Seeing what I was up against, I almost gave up hope, and then you appeared. So I decided to secretly guide you. Ah, oh, so our mysterious ex was... Correct. It was me. Once I saw you fight, I knew you were the only ones who could challenge Grubba. Now, sir. No, not sir. Grubba. I want, ans I want answers right now. What did you do with my precious little brother? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The first champion. Prince Mush. Uh, Prince Mush. He, he discovered the secret of my power sucking machine. I had him uh, disappear. Anyway, would you look at it? He ain't around these parts no more. No. Uh, I suspected as much. Oh, poor sweet Mush. That poor dear really seemed aloof, but in fact, she just loved her brother ever so. Marty, darling, look there! The Crystal Star! Ooh, fancy. Honestly, that's way better than him just hopping out of the machine. <laughs> Whoa, is this... Am I back in the glitz pit? Mush! Oh, uh, is that really you, sis? What are you doing here? Uh, I was just... There, there, Mush. It's okay. It's all over. Finally. Mercy me! 
So that's what the Crystal Star is capable of. Now, Mario, the Crystal Star is yours. Yeah! Truly? You don't mind if we take it? It's better that you have it, so that nothing like this will ever happen again. Well, darling, you needn't hesitate. Take it! Oh, yay! Yeah! Mario's star power is now at four, and I learned the power, a special move, power lift! Yeah! End of chapter! Glitz Pit's seeming on the seeming seamy underside was a dark, dangerous place seething with conspiracy. With the help of the lovely Miss Jolene, Mario revealed Grubba's true identity and acquired the third Crystal Star by defeating the monstrous Macho Grubba. Grubba had used the power of the Crystal Star to run his power draining machine. What other hidden powers might these strange and mythical items possess? Okay, I think that's where we're gonna end it for today. We had a long ass stream. Four hours and 22 minutes. Good lord. What a long, <laughs> what a long stream. Chapter 3 is still like the longest fucking thing ever. Not as long as my five hour Book of Mario version of it, but still pretty fucking long. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching Thousand Year Door Remake. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. Uh, I will be back later. Like, maybe in an hour or so with more of this game. But I want to make some lunch. I'm kind of hungry. So, I'll see you guys then, alright? Take care.